Yeah, hi guys. A solar energy system is becoming popular and a lot of people are getting them installed in their houses. Most consumers or solar energy users are getting concerned about how to know their backup time or calculate their energy consumption. Don't forget, my name is Mirigai Emmanuel, your favorite solar guide. In case you came across this video on TikTok, Instagram or Facebook, you can do well to log into my YouTube channel and complete the full video. Stay tuned, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to like this video for more useful tips and information about your solar energy system. Like I said earlier, a lot of people are becoming concerned on how to calculate their backup time or to calculate their energy consumption. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to calculate your backup time with the battery you have already, with the amount of load you consume on that battery. And also, I'll be teaching you how to calculate the days of autonomy. Though mostly in Nigeria, a lot of installers or a lot of us don't calculate days of autonomy because most people install their solar energy system based on budget so there is no enough fund to get battery bank for days of autonomy when we talk about days of autonomy we are talking about days that there will be rainfall there won't be sunlight everywhere will be cloudy and you'll be depending on the battery because the solar panels will not be producing enough energy uh, for your battery to charge and to maintain your load at the same time so we are going to be using an example with a 5000 watt hour battery bank which is same as 5 kilowatt hour battery bank don't forget to stay tuned it's very very easy very simple to calculate there is no long process about this all you have to know is to understand your battery dod especially the lithium batteries most of the manufacturer recommends 80 percent dod if you are using tubular batteries you can still use 80 percent or use 70 percent dod to do your backup time calculation because most of the DOD also depends on the type of inverter you have. There are some inverters that will go off at maybe 70% DOD, some will go off at 80 and some will even go off at 60% DOD. But in this video, we are going to be using 80% DOD to calculate our backup time and if possible, I'll show you guys how to calculate the days of autonomy. So assuming we have a 5000 watt hour battery bank and we are going to be using 500 watt load on this battery bank. How many hours will it take us to drain this battery to 80% depth of discharge? That's what we are going to be doing. So this is not a big deal and you shouldn't get confused. Even though you have a 30,000 watt hour battery bank, it's still the same formula you will be using. So if you have a 5,000 watt hour battery bank and you consume a load of 500 watts and it will take your battery about 80% for you to drain it completely out, this is how you go about it. First, you have to understand that your manufacturer already recommended 80% DOD. What you are going to do is to multiply your 500 watt, sorry, your 5000 watts by 80 divided by 100, right? If you do that, you will get your battery DOD in 80% because manufacturer said 80%. We are using 80% to do this calculation. So 5000 watts multiplied by 80 divided by 100. So if you do the 5,000 watt multiply by 80, divide by 100, it will give you 4,000 watts. It means 80% of 5,000 watts will give you 4,000 watts. And from that 4,000 watts, assuming your load consumption or your energy consumption is 500 watts, all you have to do is to divide 4,000 watts by 500 watts. Yeah, because they are all watts. So that is why we are using watts. Your battery bank has been converted from kilowatts to watt because your uh, electronics at home are mostly measured in watt and not in kilowatt so if your battery comes in kilowatt all you have to do is to convert it to watt in doing conversion in converting kilowatt to watt all you have to do is to multiply that figure by 1000 watt and that is why our 5 kilowatt is equivalent to 5000 watt so 5 80 percent of 5000 watt is 4000 watt so assuming you are consuming 500 watts per hour uh, all you have to do is to divide 4000 watt by that 500 watt when you divide 4000 watt by 500 watt that will give you about eight so it means if you are going to be consuming 500 watts of load or energy from this amount of battery or from this size of battery, which is 80% DOD and that will give you 4,000 watts, it means you are going to drain that battery in eight hours time if you are using 500 watt load on that very battery. So what if you now increase the uh, energy consumption or your appliances to 1,000 watts? It means it will take you four hours. It's very, very simple to calculate. So for the days of autonomy, like I said earlier, those are the days where it will rain, uh, the, the sun will be cloudy or the environment will be cloudy and you will depend on the battery. All you have to do is you have to understand your environment. 
understanding your environment really matters because you have to calculate or know the number of hours you do get sun. For example, there are some places that they have peak sun or uh, the, the highest amount of sun they get per day is three hours. If you stay in such places, then you know that you are going to depend more on the battery bank. All you have to do is to multiply the number of hours which uh, the place will be cloudy or which it will rain by the amount of load you'll be consuming. For example, if you have a 500 watt load and uh, you want it to run for like five hours, maybe the five hours is the time or the hours of your autonomy, you have to multiply 500 by five hours. If you multiply 500 by five hours, that's, uh, that's like 2,500 watts. So it means you need extra 2.5 kilowatt battery bank to sustain you in the days of autonomy. So all these things, you have to put them together to understand or for your solar energy system to work properly. If you find this video useful, don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more useful tips or information on solar energy system. I am your favorite solar guide.